What's the best do-it-yourself power amp components? This comes from Jiro in Hungary. And Jiro writes, Hi, Paul. Would you recommend MOSFETs or BJTs for a do-it-yourself audio project? Which type of transistor is better for starters in terms of biasing, reliability, et cetera? I'm thinking about a class eight dual stage preamp and a push-pull power section. You're biting off a lot here, buddy. So <laughs> All right, so the quick answer is uh, BJTs, uh, without question. Uh, MOSFETs are difficult and problematic to bias properly, and they've got all kinds, I mean, they're, I, I would not recommend starting out with a MOSFET project for the faint of heart. I, I've certainly designed my share of them. I, uh, the Stealth was my first big project in Genesis when 1994, five, something like that. I decided, I decided to, to design this Variable Class A power amplifier. It was pretty cool. Big giant thing called the Stealth. It was an awesome amplifier. And it, it had uh, the ability to go from standard Class AB biasing, and then you could adjust how much of the uh, bias was going to go fully so from, from fully Class A to just AB and everywhere in between. It's a pretty neat design. And that thing took me a good year. And the hardest part of that were the MOSFETs because biasing those things, while it's far more tricky than a bipolar, and I'll explain that in a second, keeping them, um, uh, well, from a production standpoint, it's really hard because they're all over the map. And so trying to, trying to make them always work the same way, now you don't have that problem. You can individually adjust them, but eh, stay away from it. All right, so what, what are the differences? Well, a BJT, which is a bipolar junction transistor relative to a MOSFET, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Anyway, one's a FET and one's, uh, one's a, a, a regular bipolar transistor. So bipolar transistors are really easy. So imagine, and I'll do my best to describe it without drawing it, but you, you thousands of, you know, go onto the internet and look on Google and there's thousands of, of drawings of how to do that. Basically, you take a, N, um, an, and not an N channel, that would be a FET, an NPN and a power transistor. You put it up on the top and so its collectors hooked up to plus and the emitter, uh, the output of the thing is hooked through a output resistor, 0.1 ohms is a good one. Um, to another point one, and then down below that, you flip the transistor over, and the emitter of a PNP is tied into that. So emitter to emitter, and then the PNP is its collectors hooked up to the negative, right? So NPN, its collectors positive, PNP, its collectors negative. They're tied together through a, a pair of resistors, so like little point ones, and that's your output. Okay. Now you have left over. You got the two bases, right? So now for a transistor, for a bipolar transistor, to turn it on, you just have to raise the voltage of the base above ground, or below ground, depending on what sex of transistor it is. But let's just imagine that um, we we're using the circuit that I explained. So now you need to have a bias spreading network that pulls up the NPN transistor a little bit above ground and the PNP a little bit below ground, so they're spread apart. Current will begin flowing. It's that simple. With a freaking MOSFET, oh my gosh. Dep I mean, there's all kinds of things. You ha you'll have to pull it way high, way low, and then you have to drive it properly. It's, you don't want to get into all of that. It's, it's far easier to do uh, bipolar. So uh, look up, you know, or you can email me and I'll, I'll, I'll send you some links to schematics and things. Pretty easy stuff. Your idea of a dual stage preamp in the class A mode and then the output stage class AB. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, that's basically how all power amps are. They've got an input diff pair, which is the input stage, and then that feeds a secondary gain stage. There's your two stage preamp, and that gain stage then feeds drivers. Um, one, maybe just you know, a simple amp, one driver which feeds the outputs, 
and between them is a bias spreading network, which is just a VBE multiplier, which is a transistor that spreads it back and forth according to heat and the trim pot. Very simple stuff. Look it up on the internet. You'll do just fine. And again, drop me a note. Tell me how you do. I think uh, it'd be fun. Good, good project. Uh, yeah, I, I've designed a lot of amps, so th they are fun. A little scary, high volts. You'll, you'll do fine. All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow.